Hi friends, my name is Josie. I'm a librarian with Deschutes Public Library and today we are talking about the book Space Case a little bit. This is part two of our three-part series around Space Case um, and today we're going to do an activity based on the book. So first we read a little bit of the book together, then we do an activity and then we have a live book discussion. So this is part two where we do a little bit of an activity. Now if you've read the book that's great. Uh, you'll catch all the references I make. If you haven't read the book Book, that's perfectly fine. You can totally do this activity without having read a single bit of it. So don't worry about that. But if you have started the book, <laughs> you might um, know that the first couple of chapters focuses quite a bit on food, going to the bathroom, and murder. So <laughs> if we have food, going to the bathroom, and murder, what do you think we're going to do an activity about? How about food? I think out of those three, that sounds like the best one to me. So we're going to go with food today um, and talk a little bit about <clears throat> eating in space and then do a, a quick activity together. So um, today's activity, we're going to talk about the phases of the moon and we're going to use food to show those phases. But before we get into that, I want to talk a little bit about actually eating in space. And there's some fun stuff I found online that I wanted to share with you a little bit before we got into our actual um activity. So, oh, it looks like I have the wrong thing up, but that's okay. So if you do just some quick searches for NASA and space food, you can find so much interesting information. I found this one just specifically on space food. And then I found another NASA page on eating in space. Uh, so there's a lot of great information there that you could totally read uh, if you wanted to on your own time. But I just wanted to show one quick video. So in our book, In Space Case, he talks a lot about the food being pretty gross and uh, pretty just reconstituted. So I found this video here about pizza night especially interesting. I'm going to click on this and it's going to take us to another YouTube page, which is kind of funny that we're going to be watching that. But I just want to show you a quick little bit of this um, pizza in space. Or if you want to, pizza in space! Here we go. pizza! Ooh, somebody likes pepperoni, somebody likes olives. Oh, pretty cool. But they have a suitcase to make an oven, I guess. I'm not sure what's going on there exactly. <laughs> and then they eat it! Okay. So. I'm gonna go ahead and hit pause here and stop the share. I just thought that was a hilarious video with pizza in space. So, you know, um, they've talked a little bit about uh, just, you know, some yucky reconstituted stuff. And that was actually like full size, real life, normal food like we would eat here on earth. I found it really interesting when I read a little bit about food in space, you have to be careful about crumbs and there's no salt and pepper in, like powder form, it's all in liquid form, because if those things get out into the uh, space station or um, rocket, they can clog up vents, they can get in your eyes, all sorts of things. You can't have crumbs in space. You have to be really careful with all those little bits of food. And I found that super duper interesting. Okay, we're gonna talk about the phases of the moon. If you go outside at night and you look up on a clear night, you might see the moon and you might see it in different shapes at different times. So what's going on there? The moon actually doesn't change shape or size. It, um, is, it has light shining on it from the sun and a shadow from the earth. So we see different parts of the sun or different parts of the moon as it goes through its different phases. So we have some really exciting stuff at the library that you can use to learn more about this. And I wanna show you that really quick. So, oops, we're gonna go and look at teensy bit of pizza night, but I'm gonna switch over really quick. So Deschutes Public Library, here's our address, deschuteslibrary.org. If you go there and you go under research and learning, there's one uh, homework down there, it's a pop-out menu. And if you go to homework and you scroll on down, to the bottom, there's a thing called Scholastic Teachables. So with Scholastic Teachables, there's a ton of information, tons of fun stuff. Um, and what I did was I searched for the moon and found this particular booklet of STEM activities. So this is, oops, I'm on the wrong page. 
this is what the booklet would look like. You could have this at home, you could print it out, you could just look at it online, however you want to do it. Beautiful, beautiful picture of the moon. Um, so Scholastic Teachables is free with your Deschutes Library card. Feel free to explore it. Um, but there's a really good explanation in here about the shapes of the moon. And it says, does the moon seem to change its shape? Why? Um, so it tells you a little bit about that, about the orbit of the moon around the earth and the earth around the sun and the shadows and the different phases. So you could read all that all on your own if you wanted to. Um, but I wanted to show you page four here. Oops, I went too far. Oh, so that's basically what our phases could look like. If you looked at the sun once a day, or I'm sorry, the moon, if you looked at the moon once a day for 28 days, you would see all these different shapes. So there's an activity in this booklet that looks like this, making phases. So it's got, oops, let me get that just perfect in place. It's got the full moon up here at the top and a quarter moon, I'll talk about that in a second, down here and a new moon or a dark moon down there. So what you would do is you would look at those different phases and name them right there in the blank spot. But that's a worksheet and we don't care about worksheets right now. We're having fun. We are going to do it in a different way. So I am going to come on back. And what I chose to do was to use something round with something inside. So a sandwich cookie. That's what this is. It's basically a sandwich cookie. And I needed um, a knife or popsicle stick or a scraper, or I had a uh, cookie cutter that was already had a nice curve in it. So I used that. So I had a lot of different, um, different supplies that are possible for this one. Uh, and here's what I went ahead and did. So I'm going to share my screen again and show you. So there you go. I scraped off that inner sandwich frosting to make the different phases. Now I wanna talk about these phases a little bit so that you know the names. You can read through that Scholastic Teachables um, booklet if you'd like, but I'm gonna talk about them here too. So on the top, you can still see the frosting. I know I couldn't scrape it completely clean and that's okay. On the top, you see what we call the new moon. That's when it looks like there's no moon out there. It's a dark, dark, dark night. But slowly, as uh, time goes by and as things move around in, the, in space, as the sun and the earth and the moon move around, you have what's called a crescent. So you might have heard the word crescent, like with a crescent roll um, or a crescent moon or in other places like that. Um, but the crescent is the very first hint that you can see of the moon. Now, there's two different... Um, parts to this cycle. One is the waxing and one is the waning. So waxing happens when it starts to get bigger and bigger and bigger and waning happens when it gets smaller and smaller and smaller. So we have the new moon, we have the waxing crescent, we have the waxing quarter. And if you look at that and say, that looks like a half to me, that doesn't look like a quarter to me. You have to think, so here, I'm going to stop sharing for just a second. You have to think about something round. So if you draw a line through it, it looks like you're only seeing half, but because it's round, you know it's a quarter because you're only seeing, this is one quarter of the face, this is one quarter of the face, and then you turn it around, oh, and you see the sticker, and there's one quarter of the face here and one quarter here because there's four different quarters. So that's one of those things that looks a little confusing. It looks like a half moon, but it's actually considered a quarter moon. So again, we're on the waxing side. Now here's a funny word. This is a waxing gibbous. Now gibbous is another one of those words. It's in the Scholastic Teachable, so you could look that up if you wanted to. Um, for some reason, I always think of a gibbon, which is an animal. That's not the same thing at all. So this is a waxing gibbous, which is almost full. And then you come down here to the full moon. And then as time goes by, you end up with a waning 
gibbous. Remember I said there was a waning and a waxing. So waning means getting smaller. So there's your waning gibbous, your waning quarter, and your waning crescent. And what happens after the waning crescent? You're back to the new moon. And so it just keeps going in a circle. If you're looking at this uh, right now, and if you have a clear sky and you go out at nighttime, you just might see, what am I gonna see? I'm maybe a waning gibbous or a waning quarter right now. But this can be watched anytime you want to. So anytime you are watching this, go outside at night and check out what you see out there in uh, at, at night in the sky. So let's see, I'm gonna stop share. Now, some of you might actually say, I don't like sandwich cookies. So I just wanted to reassure you, you could use any round food. I grabbed a carrot. It's a little bit harder. You might need a sharper knife, which means ask a grown-up to help you out with that. Um, but you can use something like a carrot. And let me go ahead and do a screen share again. And you can make some of the same shapes. So you've got your, well, I guess I'm going in the wrong direction. Start on the left. You've got your waxing crescent, waxing quarter, waxing gibbous, and full moon. Stop. Share. And there you go. So you can do it with a carrot too, if you didn't want to do it with a sandwich cookie. And of course you can do it with anything round. I mean, you know, slices of an apple might get a little uneven, but it's round enough. If you had any other thing at home that you wanted to do it with, you could totally do it with that kind of food too. So today we talked a little bit about eating in space, which seems really funny to me. We talked a little bit about Space Case, which is the book that we're reading uh, this time around and is by Stuart Gibbs. We talked a little bit about the phases of the moon and how to make it with sandwich cookies or with carrots or however you want to go ahead and do that with anything round. Um, and we talked a little bit about Scholastic Teachables, which is a resource available through Deschutes Public Library. So lots of fun stuff today. And I look forward to chatting with everyone for our book group um, next week. So have a wonderful day and enjoy looking at the moon. Bye.